Hey everybody, Diecast Rhino once again, and it's time for the monthly Hot Wheels Fast and Furious release, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Okay, I was just kidding about the monthly Fast and Furious set release, sort of. Anyway, we're going to look at the latest non-premium Fast and Furious cars from Hot Wheels. This is a five car set that, as far as I can tell, is not a Walmart exclusive. If anyone finds out differently, please let me know. The Hot Wheels official website does not mention it being uh, found only at Walmart. You can see the card art for each car here. The backs are all exactly the same. We're not going to take a look at those. Really, it's the same international card back that Hot Wheels has been using for a lot of their mini sets. For this set, we've got the Dodge Challenger Drift Car, the Ice Charger, the Nissan Skyline GTR, a 71 Plymouth GTX, and a Corvette Grand Sport. Let's dig in. Kicking off our Fast and Furious set is the Dodge Challenger Drift Car from Furious 7. It can be seen in that crazy airdrop scene being driven by Letty Ortiz. This has been part of the Hot Wheels collection since 2011. One nice thing about this series is that every car is meant to be an almost exact replica of the car in the movie, so I don't need to do a lot of uh, extra description. This Challenger is flat black with green sides. It's got the huge spoiler on the back and a fairly detailed front grille. The one key component that it does not have is the push bar on the front. This car has a black plastic base and OH5 wheels. Number two in the series is the Ice Charger. This car has only been around since 2017, since that's when the Fate of the Furious was released. Driven by Dom, this Charger has bulletproof windows that are riveted onto the body and a big V8 engine that is turbo boosted by what is basically a jet engine. This car is dark gray with a black stripe on the hood. You can see the big engine in the rear, the little RT logo. You can also spot all those little rivets for the bulletproof glass. It has a gray plastic base and J5 wheels. The third car in our Fast and Furious set is the Nissan Skyline GTR R34. Driven by Brian O'Connor in Too Fast, Too Furious, this car was taken down by an ESD harpoon shortly after winning a race. The Hot Wheels version has been around since 2010 and has proven to be a very popular casting. Originally, the wing on the rear of the car was a separate piece of plastic, but in 2014, it was slightly retooled so that that part is now part of the metal body. This car has all the same look as the one in the movie. It's got painted taillights and the GTR logo on the back. It also has a black plastic base and 10-spoke wheels. Up next is the 1971 Plymouth GTX. Now, this is an intimidating car. Driven by Dominic Toretto in The Fate of the Furious, this is just an all-black, hulking muscle car. It's really a 71 Roadrunner that gets modified to a GTX. Hot Wheels has been making them since 2001, but I think the Fast and Furious version is by far the best. You can see all around, it's a black car with black interior, blacked out grille, and even a black base. It's got the silver striping on the hood and some detail on the sides, GTX logos and marker lights. It's even got the hood pins, but they left off the cables. Would have been nice to also see the cables attached to those hood pins. And it's got those chrome rimmed PR5 wheels, fat ones on back, smaller in front. Possibly my favorite car in the set. Finally, we come to the Corvette Grand Sport Roadster. This is one of the cars that Brian, Mia, Vince, and Dominic were going to steal from the train in Fast Five. The Grand Sport is one of the most valuable and collectible models of all Corvettes, since only five were ever made. All five are still in existence, by the way. Hot Wheels introduced their version in 2015. This one is a dead-on match to the movie version. You can even see the license plate KRE4962 and the painted taillights. It's got a dark gray plastic base and PR5 wheels. That concludes our quick look at this Fast and Furious mini-series. Here's a final look at all five cars together. Thanks for stopping by today. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below to let us know which is your favorite car. We'll see you next time.